Hey, I got a new Tinker Crate. Um, it says it's going to be a light-up planetarium, and I'm super excited because I've never actually made a planetarium. So, what you're going to do first, let me get my instructions, very important. Going to take one of the dome pieces. You need the pin. I kept the pin in its bag because I didn't want to lose it. So there's that. And you're going to poke all of the white star circles out to make the constellations using the pen. I'm assuming we're not using the box in this project since we're poking a bunch of holes in it. I know it's been a while since I've made a video, and I actually have a lot of tinker crates that I need to get done, so I'm sorry about that. I'll try to make videos more regularly. Just busy with other things. Okay, so I'm just finishing the first one, and I need to poke all the holes in the second one, too. Now I can move on to step two. There's a lot of holes in the box now. They said you could poke out all of the stars and not just the constellations. I might do that later, but I'm not going to do that now. Because that would take forever. Just finishing the second one now, and then we can Now, I have to fold all of these blue tabs upwards. Just the blue ones, not the little black notches. I think we'll get to those later. And they're a little bit perforated right there to make your job easier. Let's do that on both pieces again. Just finishing the second one now, and we'll move on to step three. Step three. Now, we fold these small black tabs down. Like right here. And then down those dome pieces. There's a lot of folding and poking in this one. A lot more than the other one. three on each section. There's six sections, and two pieces, so this will take me a little bit. And there is the second one. Now, we're done with those for a while. Next thing we need to do is get out this thing. Then we need, where does it, dull stick foam squares, assuming that's this. Stick a double stick foam square on each of the blue trapezoids on the planetarium ring. Okay. Here we go. This time, I don't think it's going to be inside the box, so I'm just using the box as a table. I looked over the instructions before I started. That should be good. And there sure are a lot of these little sticky foam squares. There's a lot of foam in this one. More foam than the last one. I just hope there's some foam donuts in here somewhere. Okay, now, to take all of the little white papers off, 
reveal the other side of Sticky. Because we are going to attach the um, the dome pieces that we punched holes out of and folded. We're going to attach that to this and make the dome. have a few more of these. Well, actually, I have a lot more of these to do. And then we'll be ready to attach the dome. So that's not the only thing we're doing. We also have to build the stand and attach the base. Then we will be ready to test out our planetarium, but that's a, that's a ways away. few more left here. My hands are getting very sticky because of all of this sticky stuff. But it's not really a problem, right? Now, last one. Next thing to do, make sure you can see that. We're going to get our dome piece. I uh, don't think it matters which one we put on first as long as it goes like this, right? Yeah. And Bring the dome section up from under the ring and stick it on. Okay, now this is a little difficult. Let's see if I can do it. We're bringing this up. No, wait, wrong way. Huh, try this again. I'm gonna bring it up and then we're gonna stick it. Right where the blue trapezoids are. There. There we go. I got it. We'll do that for all of these, which explains why there are so many trapezoids on here. There we go. There's that one. Now you gotta make sure that all of these tabs right here are inside or your dome won't be put together correctly. Because that is what makes this a dome and not completely flat. So, finished the first half. So it's half a dome now. So we'll get the second half out. There we go. We'll do the exact same thing. Ah, no. Okay, last one. This one's the hardest. There we go. And we have a dome. It looks kind of like a hat. Oh, wait, wait. These aren't in. Let's make sure those are in. That's very important. Okay. There we go. Now we have dome. Now what you have to do... You have to find the edge and you have to push that piece out just like that so that it looks like that and it's not completely flat like that so go and push it out each one of them yeah there we go and then we do this one this one this is just making sure that the dome stays together and doesn't fall apart it's doing right now. Then I'm gonna take a few pieces from the black sticker sheet and stick them inside of the dome to hold the halves together and cover any gaps. Black sticker sheets. That's this. Yeah. We'll get our scissors. And gonna cut like a little strip of sticker here. We'll peel it off if I can. There we go. And we're gonna stick it right on this seam where the two pieces meet so that it doesn't come apart. And I want to make sure I don't cover up any stars. 
You won't be able to see the constellations correctly, so I'm going to do one there, and one on the other side, and I think I'll do two in the middle, just to be sure that it doesn't come apart. Alright, I'll stick this one on this side. Is that going to cover up a star? Yeah. I'll just re-punch the hole real quick. So right there, I accidentally covered up a star, so I'll get out my thumbtack. Punch it through again. There we go. And we'll put one or two in the middle. Just to be sure. There we go. And this one goes right there. And I'll punch out any stars I cover up there also using the thumbtack. So, that one. And that one. And I think that's it. There we go. We have made the planetarium. Well, technically it's the dome. We still need to make the rest of the planetarium. We'll set that aside. And start the next part. So, I need this. This sheet right here, and I need to pop it out. If it's casing. This is the stand piece. It's cardboard, I think. foam donuts on this one. Ah! I caught it. Pop out the center, take off the bottom, and we could uh, stick them on. It's like my favorite part of the Tinker Crates, just the sticky foam donuts, even if they're not blue. Then, before little sticky foam squares, just like the ones that we used in the dome. And then I'll take the stickers off afterwards, because I find that is easier than taking the stickers off first and sticking them on second. real quick. It's sticky. Forgot about that. I'm going to get our batteries, which are wrapped in plastic. Let's see if I can get them out of the plastic. Okay. Here's the battery. The battery, and we're going to put them in the battery pack. And to open the battery pack, you just it's pretty easy. You want to make sure that you put them in correctly or it doesn't work. They don't fit very well when you put them in wrong anyway. Slide that back on and we're on to the next step. So it goes... What you're going to do is you're going to connect it to this like that. Get where those white lines are. See? It says battery pack. Then, fold this piece around and stick it on again so now the battery pack is nice and enclosed in there. Switch is right here. Make sure that's off before we start connecting things to it. There we go. The LED holder that's... Yeah. It's this little blue thing. And you put it right... Here. I can get it through the hole, right? This one? Yeah. Then it goes all the way in. Make sure that 
this blue part right here is facing vertically, not horizontally. It's very important. Then, I'm going to take the LED, little one. I got two. I don't know if you need two. It might just be an extra. I'm going to put it into the LED holder, these little holes. You just slide it right in, come out the other end. You're going to take the wires and connect them to the LED. And the red wire, oh, lost my LED there. The red wire gets the longer leg. So the legs are different lengths. And the black wire gets the shorter leg. Just like that. Then you bend the wires to make sure that the red and the black don't touch because that will short circuit your machine. Then you fold the top down, pop that hole out now. If I can. Fold the top down so the LEDs on top now. And we're going to take the dowel. We're going to put it through this hole right here. Through the sticky foam donuts. Make sure that the black wire and the red wire are on opposite sides of the dowel here. So all the way through and out the other side. Okay. Just like that. LED, and the switch right there, and the wires on either side. Now, we turn on the battery pack to make sure the LED works. It's the moment of truth. There we go! Okay. That's the end. Part two. We go to part three. We have to attach the base. So, we're going to get this out. And we're going to get out our little sticky foam squares again. Seem to use these a lot. And we're going to put on the little sticky foam square spots. There's six of them, I believe. I wonder if they give us extra foam squares or if we're going to use all of these. papers off again. And we'll be ready for the next step. Right. Now, that where that goes. Yeah, we don't need the scissors anymore, do we? We're going to get these... What are they? They're arc pieces, and there should be five of them. We're going to take it. I'm going to put it on sticky foam squares. So that you you can still kind of see the blue line. You're not going to go like over the blue line. It doesn't look like I did that, right? Still kind of see the blue line. You're going to do that. Ah, sorry. You're going to do that on each of these. But you don't want it like all the way over there because that'll mess up the whole planetarium. So, put that right there. Next step. Flip it over. We need the bolts, which I also left in the bag so I didn't lose them. And we're gonna put a bolt in each hole. And we're gonna screw a spacer on top. So bolts look like this, spacers look like this, and there can be a bolt on either side of the spacer, which is pretty cool. Take it. In. 
not drop the spacer. Screw the spacer on. Do that on every hole. Last two bolts here, and then we'll be done. Well, not completely done. Be ready for the next step, which I think you attach the dome, which is pretty cool. Come on. There we go. One bolt left. There we go. Next. Take the dome, place it on top, and then you're gonna take the last three arc pieces, including the one that's kinda weird, and you're gonna put them on here. Now, the arc piece with the um like the hole in it, the open arc piece, needs to go in line on this one so that it's in line with this hole here. So it's gonna go right here. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the last few screws. Give me a second. And you can screw them in to the other side of the spacers. I think is pretty cool. The other two pieces are just regular arc pieces and we'll just put them here and here. And this holds the dome to the base. But it can still spin around. more stickers along here because you can see the you can see like there's a hole in it and so when you put the light in then there'll be light shining through there and it'll mess up the stars so I'm just gonna stick this strip on here and then we can connect this to the base and get on with what we're doing off the sticker and it ripped off the paper and not this stuff. That's kind of cool. Okay, this is going to go right like that and push all of those down. I'll put the second one on and then I'll poke out the holes that I'm covering up again. There, we'll get our pin out again. Poke all the holes that we covered up. You can tell which holes you covered up because they won't look, you won't be able to see through them when you hold it up to the light. So that one. You could also just poke out all of the holes along this edge, just to be sure.
Now we can attach it to the stand. Just slide that back on. You can see now that there's not as much of a gap right there. So it shouldn't have as much light showing through. Okay. Next step is on the flip side of the paper. Wait, there's more donuts. Yeah. Put that aside for now. Put the pivot pieces out. That one, and that one, and we get to put a sticky foam donut on each of the blue circles. Let's so get our donuts, pop out the centers, take off the paper, stick it on. Thing that we're going to do is we're going to take the stand that we set aside, make sure that it's centered on the dowel. So yeah, that's about centered. We're going to fold these in half, not in half, but we're going to fold them down so that the donut's on the inside. I'm going to slide them on to the dowel. Not very far, just a little bit. Fold it down, take it, put it on to that one. These can pivot. Now, take this, we're gonna get where is it? So, we're gonna take these two big squares and put them where it says sticky foam, the blue part. Here and here, and this is how you're going to connect the planetarium to the stand which has the LED in it. And it'll be able to pivot so you can turn it to face a wall or something. Whatever you choose. So, make sure that these are lined up with the blue squares. One here, and we'll stick them on. There we go. The planetarium is done. And when you turn on the light, I don't know if you can see, but all of the little holes are making stars. So I'll have to go to a dark room to see this. But it pivots and it twists. And it's pretty cool. Now, I was looking through the magazine that they sent you. And I found this extra little bit that you can do where you take the month stickers and you put them where you put them in the stars where they fall. So like the stars right here, let's say they're in July. When you're looking at these stars, it'll say that they're in July right here. So what you do is you're gonna go to the Big Dipper, which is right here. It's the Big Dipper. You can see it's kind of sideways. And you're going to line it up with this, um, the open arch piece, I guess they call it. You're going to take this off. I guess you can leave that on. They take it off, but I should be able to leave it on. You can take the January sticker. And you're gonna stick it right in the center. It is easier if you take this off, so I guess I will. And then you can see which stars are in the night sky in which months. Which is pretty cool.
there's January, then you turn a notch. Do you turn left or right? Yeah, so you're going to turn left for February. If you turn right, then what you say are February stars are actually December stars, which is not correct, and then there's really no point in doing this. So there's February. March. October. November. December and back to January in the Big Dipper. Then, take this piece, you put it back on, and you can still read the month names for the stars. But it's held on, which is important because we don't want our planetarium to go flying. Now, oh, Dad, I need to turn off the lights. Okay. Now, I'm going to turn off the lights. Let's see. You can see the stars. I guess I should probably turn the LED on first, or I won't know where the switch is. Turn the LED on. see the stars are kind of shining. You're supposed to like project them onto some surface so you can see that star right there on my hand. And if you put this in a completely dark room, which this room is not, you'll be able to see all of the constellations on the wall. <laughs> so there you go. I made a planetarium. Let's turn the light back on because it's kind of dark in here. There we go. So if you like my videos, Please like and subscribe and turn on the little bell thingy for notifications so that you know when I post new videos, which will hopefully be every week or every two weeks and not like every month because I have a lot of tinker crates that I need to do because I haven't been doing them. So thanks for watching. See you guys next time.